In this problem, I'm asking you to factor this quadratic. It might seem familiar compared to the ones that you've done in class today. To begin, I want us to notice that this a value is not 1. Okay? Whenever that a value is not 1, we have to be very careful. First thing I would try is a GCF, or a greatest common factor. Do the terms 2x squared negative 6x and plus 4 have something in common. Hopefully you'll notice that they're all even. So I'm actually going to factor out a 2 from each term. So if I factor out a 2 from 2x squared, I'm left with x squared. From negative 6x, I'm left with negative 3x. And from 4, I'm left with positive 2. And just to check, you could distribute the 2 and make sure that you got the original expression. Now notice that the a value of the quadratic term is right here. It's actually a 1. So this is pretty much like the questions in the other video. We're able to factor this pretty simply. I'm thinking about what would multiply to x squared x and x. What would multiply to 2? Two? 2 and 1. But notice, so notice, I need two numbers that not only multiply to 2, but two numbers that actually add up to negative 3. So 2 and 1 multiply to 2, but 2 and 1 add up to negative, sorry, to positive 3. I want negative 3. So I could simply make those negative, then it would work. And if I made them negative here, it would still work. So I have now factored the expression into 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 1. So again, whenever this a value isn't a 1, consider factoring out a GCF. In the next example, first thing I should notice is that a value is not 1. So let's check for a GCF. 3, negative 1, and negative 2, they don't have any factor in common except 1. So I don't have a GCF to factor out here. So instead, let's think about two things that would multiply to, neg sorry, to 3x. What two things would multiply to 3x? How about 3x and x? It's the only thing I can really think of that has integers or whole numbers. What two things could multiply to negative 2? Negative 2. What two numbers? How about 2 times negative 1 or negative 2 times positive 1? Now, be very careful because they are not necessarily going to add up to negative 1. Now, if you look at our choices here, it does seem like we have negative 2 and 1 adding up to negative 1. But notice that that's not our only problem. If I put negative 2 right here and positive 1 right here, let's see if it actually is the answer. And I'm going to check it by doing the multiplication. We'd get our 3x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 2. So notice we get the 3x squared and the minus 2, but look at these, they only add up to 1x. We want negative 1x. So let's try something different. Now it might not just be that the signs right here and right here are wrong. Notice that this 3 and the 1 are getting multiplied. If I had chosen to put the 2 in this spot and the 1 in this spot, things would be different. So let me try that and see what happens. Let's try 3x plus 1 and x minus 2. Here I would get 3x squared 
minus 6x plus x minus 2. And these two still check, but now these two are getting me negative 5x. That's not good either. So we have to try the different combinations on this one. What about 3x plus 2 and x minus 1? Let's just check these two things, because they seem to be what's causing the issue. This would get me negative 3x. This would get me 2x. If I add those up, I get my negative 1x. So I think we have a winner here. We were able to factor this to 3x plus 2 times x minus 1. Now notice the numbers that worked. They did not add up to negative 1x. So whenever this a value isn't 1, we don't want to think about what adds up to this middle term. Okay. We can still think about the two numbers that will multiply to this value, but they don't necessarily have to add up to this value anymore. Let's try one more. Please put a star around the example 3, where it says example 3. Put a star. Here we go. A is not 1. Notice we have a 4, a negative 4, and a positive 1. So the GCF here is 1. I can't factor out a GCF to make this easier, so I'm going to try different things that multiply to 4x squared. What multiplies to 4x squared? 4x times x, 2x times 2x. So I have a choice. Let's try 4x and x. So the other side of it is what multiplies to 1. 1 times 1, negative 1 times negative 1. So let's try our positives and see what happens. We're definitely going to get the 4x squared and the plus 1 no matter what we try. So I'm just going to attempt these two parts of the multiplication. Kind of looks like a happy face, doesn't it? There's the nose that gets us the 1x, and this gets 4x. If we add those together, we get 5x. That's not what we're looking for, so I know this can't be right. So that option's out. That doesn't mean that this is bad. Let's try, let's try 4x minus 1 and x minus 1. Does that change anything? This gets us negative 1x. This gets us negative 4x. That totals negative 5x. Nope, still not what we're looking for. Okay. So we tried both of these combinations over here with the 4x and x. I guess the 4x and x isn't going to work for us. Down to our last choice. Let's do 2x and 2x and positive 1 and positive 1. Again, we're definitely going to get the 4x squared and the plus 1, so I'm just going to check these two parts. That gets me 2x and 2x. Those add up to 4x. Well, that's close. We want negative 4x. So what could we do to make that better? This is definitely not the answer. Our only other option our only other option is going to be 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. And we could check it out. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. That makes a total of negative 4x squared. Now it's time for you to try some practice.